Ani and Atiina returned to the glowing Code Topia Code Lab, their eyes filled with excitement from their last adventure. The neon symbols from before now pulse with numbers floating in the air. Welcome back, young coders. Last time, we uncovered the secret code of variables and learned how to store information. Now, it's time to unlock the power of numbers. Ooh, are we learning math today? That's right. But in JavaScript, numbers can do even more than what you see in math class. Cool. So, can we make our own calculations? Absolutely. Let's start by making Codetopia's first magic calculator. In JavaScript, numbers are just like numbers in real life. We can count them, add them, subtract them, and even do super cool tricks with them. Just like in math class. Exactly. But let's see how JavaScript handles numbers. Let's open our index.js file and type this code. That should give us 15 on the terminal, right? Yes, because both first number and second number are real numbers, JavaScript adds them together. But what if we put quotes around one of them? Aha, that's where things get interesting. Let's try this code instead. Wait, 10 plus 10 gave us 20. But 10 plus 10 gave us 1010. What happened? Great observation. When both are numbers, JavaScript adds them together. But when one is text, JavaScript glues them together like a word puzzle. Oh, so if we mix numbers and text, JavaScript sticks them together instead of adding them. Exactly. That's why it's important to know when we're using numbers and when we're using text. Now let's explore the math tricks JavaScript can do. Just like in real life, we can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Whoa, so JavaScript can do math just like a calculator. That's right. And see that last one? The percent symbol is called modulus. It gives us the remainder when we divide numbers. So 10 divided by 5 has no remainder, so it gives us 0? Exactly. But try this code. Oh, so 10 modular 3 gives us 1, because 3 goes into 10 3 times, with 1 left over. Now you're thinking like a real coder. Activity time. Now it's time to create your own calculator. 1. Let's write a program that asks for two numbers and adds them together. 2. Try changing the two numbers to get different results. 3. Try making the two numbers subtract, multiply, or divide. Today, you became number wizards. You learned how JavaScript works with numbers and even built a tiny calculator. But next time, we'll take things even further. Ooh, what are we learning next? Next time, we'll discover secret shortcuts and math magic in JavaScript. It's going to be amazing. We can't wait. Let's keep coding. Subscribe, like, and share.